Yo, gimbal ain't so nimble. <laughs> I've been told that many times. <laughs> I'm Ben. This is Daniel. And it's time for another bad podcast. It's on the table. <laughs> Seriously. Come on, get that shit out of here. I'm tired of your unprofessionalism. <laughs> Me too. Do you dude. remember in the last... Well, not the last... 14? In four, in 14, when like you run off to the yeah. kitchen. Yeah. I'm like... I was I was saying during the last fourteen, like during all of them. Damn. Can you not get that can open? Jesus Christ, no! What is it with you and alcohol on this show that you can't open it ever? Oh, that's my time plant. That's a little cutting of it. One day it'll grow to be big and strong and beautiful. Yeah, unlike my basil. I'm still pissed about that. I just let it go, dude. I don't. I don't have time to worry about it. Let it go. Frozen 2's out. Uh, the the white-haired one, they made her look weird. Elsa. Foster's. Australia's favorite brand of beer. Unbranded sweet tea. It's Louisiana. Ooh. You're not a Lipton man? Um, I'm pretty sure it wasn't Lipton. Lipton is the yellow box with... Got red. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think this is what I think happens. They're growing. I'm imagining in where do they grow tea at? India? I don't know. I think they grow a lot of tea here. Wow. I imagine they're on this plantation mm-hmm. and they got their tea. They're like, okay, it's time for the, the Lipton. And they're like, oh, okay, the stuff in there. And it's like, okay, it's time for the Louisiana. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I think a lot of that is true. Hmm. I think it's just like. They might do something to it after market. I don't know. Flavor it or something. Pump additives into it. Poison. You know. Before we get going, I have to know. It's killing me. Okay. How's Kanye this week? Kanye's doing good. Um, he just had an, an opera. Uh, what? Yeah. just That's my favorite thing about Kanye. Oh, by the way, I watched that jail video again and yeah. I, I liked it more. Dude, I don't think they were faking at all. They were having it. Or not even acting. I, but yeah. Anyway, I think Kanye's in it with his heart, it. dude. Yes, exactly. He's in it all the way, dude. He had an opera. Name another like anybody right an now opera. that you know of that has an opera. But he just put it on yesterday at the Hollywood Bowl. It, I'm pretty sure it was free or cheap tickets, but sold out. Um, packed stadium and a lot of good uh, reviews. It was about the Book of Daniel. Um, it was cool. He can put. <laughs> it still irks me that you call his last album not a Christian album. The reason I uh, refrained from calling it a Christian album is because I didn't want to put it into a category that would hurt it, I guess, because that's a yeah, well, yeah that would hurt that's it. a stigmatized category. You that's a good example. That's exactly. a good explanation. I was re- rewatching that episode and I, I I thought about it and I was like, yeah, that that's I guess that's why I'm hesitant to call it a Christian album because it's so much more than that. That people don't sit down and make Christian albums thinking, oh man, this is gonna be a sick Christian album. Some of them do. Like I, I can see some of them that do, but you don't. I feel out. like they were the. <laughs> I feel like they were the kids in the like, school that had their own table that no one wanted to sit with. Yeah, they don't. This Christian album's gonna rock their socks off. Right, if it's actually good music, they're not sitting down creating it to to sell a Christian album. They're selling an album, or in Kanye's idea, he's just trying to talk about God. But um, see, that's pure. Yeah, because he doesn't need to sell another album ever in his entire life. He's he could. Not only he doesn't need to do anything in his whole life. I want to he talk has, about this again in a minute about net worth and stuff. Okay, he has um, he has Yeezy like with Adidas that could sustain him alone, but he doesn't even have to do that. Probably what with Kim. And what he has. Yeah. I'm sure he's a smart and diversified man. I think he is now. He had a lot of money problems back in 2016 when he sort of had a breakdown. Uh, he was in debt to a lot of people, and he was, he had borrowed money from Kim. Um, <clears throat> it was a lot of stuff. He had he had a shaky year. A shaky couple years, 
but you gotta now hit rock bottom, now dude. He's like now he's like one of the richest men in the world. So it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you done with Kanye? Um, yeah, he just he had the opera, and that's what what kind of opera? What do you mean was, he had an opera? So he composed an opera is just like music with kind of like play, you know, on a stage. So he had people dancing, and there was like a story. Uh, this guy and he named, came up with it all himself. It was based off the book of Daniel, but he interpreted it himself. Yeah, he chore- he helped Dude, choreograph it. Kanye's was, doing his well, own thing then, in life, man. And then on Twitter, on his Twitter, he just tweets page by page the entire book of Daniel on Twitter in a like thirty minute uh, window. Like, he, and then how fast can he type? No, 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 a picture. Oh, sorry. Like he oh, had a Bible oh, in front of him, oh. page by page. He tweeted the book of Daniel, and um, later was like, he comparing himself to Daniel? No, I I'm not sure. He, like he's in the lion's den. I actually haven't watched the opera because unless trust in God will bring him out. That's good. It could be what it is, that, dude. I bet you that's his comparison. I haven't watched it because it was streamed on Title, and uh, I don't have Title, but it's gonna be what online. the heck's Title? Title is. So there's another, too many. There's too many. Well, this one was like a while ago, but it, something to do with Jay Z, right? Jay Z owns part of it, or he started it, or something like that. It's not. It's no longer owned just by Jay Z, but uh, it's another streaming service. Dude, which, I want to watch that. The opera but it's only on Title. For now, it, it it's probably up right now. It was this was yesterday. Today is when it'll be online and stuff. I'm pretty sure. <coughs> Dude, I'd be interested in watching that. That sounds kind of <coughs> me that too. That sounds badass. I know it is. Um, yeah, he's he's doing good. I think that's all I have to report. Dude, that's that's pretty nice. That's badass. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. I love him so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I'm getting respect for him, man. Yeah, and it's I mean, because of you. Thank you, but I'm just a disciple. <laughs> no, I, I. That's probably what his opera is. I can feel, I can feel that that would be a comparison. Oh, I'm sorry. Feeling like a. It's about. Um, it's called. The reason I haven't said the name is because I can't pronounce it. Um, what was the? Let king, me see it. Let I'm going to show you the King of Babylon. I don't um, remember. Wait, Babylon. Uh, or Jerusalem, something like that. I don't know, dude. So, look, here's his Twitter. He's just tweeting the whole Bible. His Twitter. Yeah. Uh, just tweeting the Bible. And then he tweeted a lot of the Bible. Oh, Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah, well, well there's like this part in the middle. I didn't, there's Chad somewhere in there. It's weird. Chad? Yeah, read it. Like, look close. Let me see it. I'm, I'm sure you see uh, Chad, but I've just, always heard it pronounced Nebuchadnezzar. No, I know. That's how I, that's how I thought it was, too. I just didn't feel confident enough to Radchek, say it. Radchek, Meshach, and Abednego. Yeah. I also didn't know how to say them, their names. Uh-huh. For some reason, I don't remember if I'm speaking it the VeggieTales way or not. No, I think you're saying it the... Oh, no, you did say Radchek. Radchek. <laughs> that's like radish. <laughs> what was it? It's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's not right. Veggie <laughs> corrupted me. That's hilarious. I didn't even And the bean that. to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Comment. What's their names? Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what it's called. So it's about, I want to watch that. Me too. I'll let you know when it's online. Uh, real quick, I'm going to look up something. Okay. Uh, okay. And I want to show you. Yes, yes, yes. Should have been prepared. It's okay. But I wasn't. I wasn't either. I was going to bring some different sunglasses, but these are all I had, so now I look like this. Okay, will you look at this? Oh, if you tap the screen, it'll say what the whole thing's about. I know you know how to use Facebook. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, while he's reading that, this, fr- this Foster's, it is light, filling, but light still. I can taste the accent of Australia. I, I see what they're saying. The down like under, if you will. Oh, I don't think anybody wants... But it's not for me. I taste that. Foster's? The down under. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, 
Would you call this a meme or just an image? Uh, just like an image going around. Uh, it was, it's Bernie Sanders had posted a thing about showing the richest people in the world and how much they would pay in taxes under his plan. Mm-hmm. My only comment is the problem with people thinking about in the terms that that is written, mm-hmm. if you, because they're like, oh, this person's net worth is $191 billion. Yeah. They'd only have to pay $5 billion. That's nothing to them. Yeah. But that money, the net worth is in assets that are non liquid as well. Right. Like that's not how much money someone has, right? If my property counts towards my net worth. Mm-hmm. And how can you make someone pay based off what the value of their property is? Dude, yeah, if if your property goes into it, then let imagine... Me, let me tell you, your your property, your equipment, like businesses, mm-hmm. when they look up Jeff Bezos' net worth, mm-hmm. it's not just including his salary. It's including the, his like, shares of Amazon and then all of his other businesses and equipment that he owns, property that he owns. It's not just... So when I see that, I had somebody explain it really well. If... Bezos' salary, which you can look it up, I think mm-hmm. his salary is like eighty one thousand a year. Sure. That's it. Really? Yeah. I'm not I'm not joking. Now he gets benefits and stuff that he pays to himself. But or his net worth his is, company the, is. is the big number. Yeah. So after all of his benefits and everything, I think he brings home like a little over a million a year. Which mm-hmm. is crazy still. Mm-hmm. But uh his net worth is a hundred and something billion, hundred and eight billion or something. Mm-hmm. But he's gotta have a lot more than that because he just donated Ninety-eight million toward home, like helping the homeless, which, by the way, is like getting shit on on Twitter because he only donated ninety-eight million. Like, <laughs> okay, cool. How much did you donate, guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah, which I, I kind of see what they're saying. If he's got infinite money, but you're but saying he doesn't have infinite. Money. I'm saying he doesn't have infinite. Yeah. I don't have any idea. I what... think a lot of people think he does, and if if that were the case, then it would. Make well, it... I'll explain my case here in a minute. Okay. I don't know how much he's got in the bank, but I can clearly see how much he's making a year. Mm-hmm. Actual liquid assets. Mm-hmm. His net worth includes all non-liquid assets as well. Here's the problem. Say he's got to all of a sudden come up with $8 billion to pay in taxes for one year. Mm-hmm. That's just for one year he's got to pay $8 billion. How's he going to get that if he doesn't have it in the bank? Because he's not going to have it in the bank for very long if he's got to do that because he's only making a million a year. Yeah, the the amount of shares he has just gives what the what the worth of his shares are. That's not what their actual value is if he were to unload all of them. Mm-hmm. So if he goes to dump all of his stocks to pay for his taxes, every share he goes and he sells, Amazon's worth a little bit less. Yeah, if he unloads <coughs> thousands of shares of Amazon, all of a sudden it's a lot less because that's all those shares out in the. Mm-hmm. The demand goes way down. So he reduces – he he doesn't inflate. I, I'll call it deflate. Deflates the price of Amazon uh, stock, and so he has to keep selling more to make even more. Yeah. Just to pay off that $8 billion. I think it would make rich people poor. I don't think it will make poor people more right. wealthy. Yeah. It will make everybody just as poor. Yeah, I have no idea how much those people make, but – well, I didn't look at everyone else. That right, picture yeah. showed the Walton family yeah. and some other people. Well, supposedly Jeff Bezos is the most rich, so I mean. Yeah, I read an article that he surpassed Bill Gates's mm-hmm. net worth. But again. So, like, the more shit you buy that your just net worth grows? Like, you're, if you buy another house, it grows? Because you're. Well, your net worth is every like is your, everything your assets, liquid yeah. and non-liquid yeah, assets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, in a business, your assets go toward the worth of the company but mm-hmm. it includes your equipment and everything like that like trucks and everything so it was really cool when I had that explained I was like well shit yeah he's he's walking rich <laughs> but unless he's got billions and billions stashed away in the bank which I, I may be the case mm-hmm. but even if that isn't the case I don't believe he's got eight billion dollars sitting in the bank right and it's that would like be gone like it's that. It's not like he's making that regularly either. No. Right? Like, that's his accumulative. Well, yeah, it was like he makes $1.1 million a year after benefits and the salary and everything like that. That's still more than we'll ever make in our lives. Or ever make in our, our lives. lives. But, but $1.1 yeah. 1. 1 cannot pay $8 yeah. billion. Because <laughs> a, a billion is a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> like, if this is a million, a billion yeah. stretches from the house, other side of the house. Yeah. It's, incra- it's crazy how numbers. I know. So when I saw that, I'm like, ah, 
They've got to base it on something else than just mm. their net worth. I think worth. that's what's dangerous about social media. They need to base media. it off their salary. About Facebook and Twitter and stuff. People share images that are just... There's no information on them. It's just an, a narrative someone wants you to see. Yeah. And then you believe it because it has 23,000 upvotes or retweets or mm-hmm. 74,000 likes, you know? And it's like misinformation or dangerous... You know, it, it's 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 weird sometimes. It's a weird world where stuff like that is spread. I'm not going to shit on socialism if people want to go <laughs> that way, but I will say that that line of thinking, making someone pay based off of their net worth, mm-hmm. I think is a really dangerous because all of a sudden you're going to have to get rid of your... Because it's not like you get the money. you got to yeah. sell your shit to get the money to pay for the taxes that you're all supposed to have to... You all of a sudden know. And then all of a sudden you don't have your equipment and your <laughs> assets and everything. So all of a sudden your net worth... <laughs> Right. So I think it would make a lot of poor people. Mm. Uh, but anyways. <laughs> What's new with you? I've been watching a lot of The Clone Wars on Disney+. Plus. I just wanted to see if you'd ever watched it. No, I told you this last time. You don't like it or what? You think it's too kiddish? I don't like the style of the cartoon. Okay, what if I told you by season six, it's like almost real life. Like, okay, when they started The Clone Wars, it was... They barely had a contract with like Cartoon Network or whoever they were doing it with, Disney Plus or Disney XD or something like that. They they were they weren't adventurous, so the stories were subpar. Like uh, it's like an anthology. You watched it? No, I'm over. Um, some of so they're not. You don't really have to watch them in order because it's just a bunch of different stories. But there is kind of a plot if you watch it in order. So I but so season one is probably the worst. And then season two, probably the, you know, they, they get about season three, the graphics and the quality of the episodes just pick up. And it's not like a kid's show. Like, people are dying left and right. Like, clones are getting, like, blasted and they're blasting droids. And they can show, like, like, like Anakin will just stab a lightsaber through people, which they don't even show that in the movies. But they show it in this. It's crazy. It's super cool. I always wanted, and I think that's what The Mandalorian does. I've all, I haven't watched it yet. I've always wanted... Star Wars to get gritty. Violent, yeah. yeah, I wanted it to get like dirty because if you if the galaxy was right opened up. What if I told you the Clone Wars does that? What if I told you Darth Maul comes back later in like season five or six? There's a whole like six episode plot with him and his brother that you probably didn't know he had. Well, maybe you did because you like Star Wars. I never but heard of him. He brother. has a brother and he has a whole plot. Anyway, Darth Maul is like destroyed from the waist down because of Qui Gon Jinn. Um, or was it? It was Obi Wan. It was Obi Wan. Qui Gon Jinn died. Qui Gon Jinn died, but Obi Wan. Yeah, okay. Um, I know my shit. Yeah, no, no, no. I was, I was checking you. <laughs> <laughs> he's destroyed from the waist down, so he's got this nasty, like spider metal. Like it's, it's gritty. It's a gritty show, and there's people die. Okay, can I spoil one thing for you since you'll never sure. watch it? Yeah. Okay, viewer discretion is advised. There are spoilers <laughs> for the Clone Wars seasons four and upward. Warning, warning, <laughs> warning. Obi-Wan gets his love interest. There's a couple episode plot. It, Jedi like can't have love interest. I don't believe it. Okay, I know. Don't this, buy it. So you're a purist. We, 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 all, we already see what happened when the love interest came in. Anakin killed all the Jedi. Right. <laughs> okay. He me, killed them when they were babies. Okay, let, what me, the fuck? let me rephrase. <laughs> Obi-Wan gets this client, I guess, but there's a underlying romantic theme between them. Anyway, she's she's a regular a, a client. Jedi don't have clients. They protect people, especially during the Clone Wars. They don't. They, are, they don't get paid. The Clone Wars. They don't get paid. They do sometimes for nope. the Republic. Nope. nope. The Republic gets paid though. Nope. The Jedi do not take money <laughs> or bribes or anything. They are pure and emotionless. The Clone Wars were a different because emotions also involve hate and anger, which beget the dark side. No. They are blank. That, that just, this just shows how much of a baller Obi-Wan is because he goes through some of the <laughs> darkest shit. Let me tell you. Whether or not Jedi can feel love, I'm a stout believer that they can, but they're not supposed to entertain it. Whether or not they can feel love... Oh, yeah, they can feel he it. He does feel it, okay? Yeah. In the Clone Wars, that's what I'm saying. He feels it for her. She feels it for him. I think they kiss. I'm not sure. Anyway, end of one of the seasons, um, Darth. it's one of the Darth Maul season, uh, episodes... Darth Maul has this thing called the dark saber. Maybe you've heard of it in some of the books. It's like a. It, I, it's I a, think actually I have heard of it. It's a sword that can fight lightsabers. It's made of like dark matter. It's black blade. It's, it's that's cool. It's vicious. Okay. I like that. Darth Maul has it. He's I got think it's a book called Dark Saber. Probably is. He's got Obi Wan like in shackles on the ground or something, and he's got his. Uh, Ooh, revenge time. He's got his um, uh, wife or sorry, love interest. 
the senator lady. She's like an important character, okay? And Darth Maul just straight up stabs her through the chest, and you see it all on the thing, and you see the life like leak out of her eyes, and you see oh, it. It's a gritty show if you want gritty Star Wars. It's I do. super good. They're, Especially up from season three, but I recommend watching the first two seasons. So oh, you I can would appreciate the. I'm one of those people that likes to follow it. Yeah. yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Over time, the artists got better, the animators got better, they got better. Stu- and then they start doing. So the first few seasons aren't as interesting plot wise because they're like, you know, we're on we're on a, a kids. We have to keep a like a mm-hmm. theme, you know. But then they're like, you know what? We're a ma- we're a huge success, and they 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 start getting they start going like we can do these kind of stories that you don't even. You'll never even know about this if you watch just the regulars. They go to planets, dude. It's like in-depth stuff. Like, did you like the prequels? Mm-hmm. These people didn't oh. like the prequels, so they like. This episode could be brought to you by Fosters. Although we are not affiliated with Fosters, if you go to Fosters.com and put in our names, I got a book. Wars, I got a book Maul, Justin Dark Shadow Maul. Hunter. I bet you. Is this Legends or Canon? Um, well, originally it was canon, but then and they, then they did, said all the books are not canon. Yeah, that sucks. Um, but it's still canon to me. Yeah. That's the Star Wars I grew up with. Yeah. I'm sure there's some awesome shit in here. I got a lot of cool books. I got one series called Republic Commando. That was beast. Do you like the clones then? Like, hmm? dude, I love the clones. And I watched this whole video on the, the Mandalore for the, um, the Mandalorian. And you can tell you, there's like the Mandalorian influence on the clone armor with the T visor, you know, uh, on their helmet, and it's it's super yeah. cool. The clone and the clone troopers in the show, you get like emotionally attached to like Rex and Cody. That they're, they're like people. It's, oh, it's actually so that good. brings about a um, cool thing. I told you I wanted a gritty Star Wars, and they were gonna make a game. <clears throat> um, I think it was called <clears throat> fourteen oh three. I don't know. It was some a battalion name. Well, no, no, no. It oh. was on Coruscant, oh, okay. and it was supposed to be like level 14 or 3. It was mm. supposed to be not, I don't think a bounty hunter, but a, kind of a a guy in the grunge of the city, and it was going to be gritty yeah, as dude. fuck. But they couldn't decide on a main character. They were originally going to do a different game with a Wookiee, but they are like, mm. oh, no one will connect with the Wookiee. Yeah. Then they were going to do a clone, and they're like, you're going to have to have his I visor would, on all the time. And, no, I would, like the cl- I would like a clone game, but like a more, maybe you don't just interact as one clone, but I would like a clone game. Listen. You need to read the Republic Commando series. I'm going to reread them. They were so good, dude. I remember... Oh, well. It was so fucking... It, they used to break... Like, Is it about clones? Yeah. Oh, good. The 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 Commando <laughs> units were made of four different uh, clones, and mm-hmm. they were all specialized in different things. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I get so good. There's a lot of that in this show. Like, there's... there's like Do they the, get the serious? Raiders. Like, they're going to fight the yeah. Separatists. It gets gory. Oh, my Damn, God. Dude. A Jedi falls in love with a clone and has a baby. I thought that I couldn't fall in love. No, I said that they can, but they don't. <laughs> I know. Well, some of them do. One Fuck of the off. Did. Obi-Wan Kenobi did in canon. That's canon. That's not canon. The Clone Wars is canon. Who said it's canon? It's George Lucas. That's fodder. No, it's not. Canon it's fodder. Lucas. George, Lu- Did you know George Lucas produces all of it? The Clone Wars? Yeah, he doesn't produce it. He probably just sits there. No, he doesn't. It says produced by George Lucas. I can produce a cartoon. I don't know. How do you, wow if there's any animators out there or anybody that does cartoon work I'm sorry on his behalf I, I would love for you to try to animate a story like a single little flip action I can't thing. even draw stick figures I can't either dude I used to make little stick figure cartoon books though like um, like storybooks I tried it once yeah it's never again <laughs> Um. anyways you made me think of two different things I can't remember the other so I'll talk about the first. Dude, everything is red in these. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's really killing me. I can't remember the second thing you made me want to talk about. Uh, first, though, you were talking about d- d- kids shows or something. and um, not. I believe wholeheartedly that Disney and other uh, networks were trying to kind of brainwash kids. Really? I'm not lying. And I know that sounds crazy. Go into that a little bit. I've been watching Victorious with Sable. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's what we've been watching. And there's constantly Mm. sexual innuendos. And I'm like, these kids are supposed to be, I think almost high school or lower. It's high school. But are they brainwashing them or are they just being like, this is what kids like. Let's put it in there, you know. I don't know. They're trying to be like edgy. Like, we have to 
seem PG, but the kids like you know smoking cigarettes. I don't think so because it's kind of on the down low. Like oh, really? they were making fun of PF Chang's. Mm-hmm. They called it BF Wang. And as soon as I saw it, I said, big fucking wang. <laughs> and Sable's like, well, they're just oh, making fun of P.F. Chang. And I'm oh, like, okay, uh, okay. they could have come up with any combination <laughs> in an ang. Okay. They I chose didn't, wang. I didn't even think of that, but yeah, that's it's, funny. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was intended, but I could see it. No, I'm yeah. guaranteeing you. Yeah. I mean, as, as soon as I read it, I'm like, B.F. Wang. There was this one wang. scene, in, and they are high school age, but there's this one scene where Ariana Grande, who plays uh, Cat. Cat, she's like, have you seen the one where they're stuck in the RV and she's like playing in the water, and these guys come up and they're like, "Oh dang!" And she's like, "I'm so hot!" Like it's so hot because she's like the ditzy dumb character yeah. or whatever. She's like, oh, "I'm so hot!" And they have water guns. They're like, "Oh, what if we help yeah. you?" And they're like spraying her with water guns. Yeah, I look. I was like 13. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Cat from? <laughs> I didn't even have to do N-U-D. that. N U D. Oh man. <laughs> Did you mean? <laughs> It was, it's crazy. <laughs> Look, though, I mean, I can't think of another example off the top of my head because no, there's know, fosters in I my know blood. I know what you mean. But every I time think, I watch every episode, I'm like, that I just think when you, little... you use the word brainwashing, it just comes. I was just. Brainwashing is maybe a bad term. I think it's to try to. I don't know. Like, to. It's exploiting something. <laughs> Subliminal messaging. Yeah. I'm going to say that okay. wholeheartedly. It's just like, why do you play Christmas music in November? You get people in the mood to start buying stuff. Oh, yeah. And I truly believe, I mean, you could either look at it as, oh, this is how the kids talk, so we need to do that. But at the same time... No, I think it's to make as much money as physically possible, and they know it sells. I mean, that's probably true, too, but... Well, it's I, the same thing with, like you are saying with the Christmas music. Didn't want to sell, but didn't when want to sell but when you were in high school, did you ever think of these? I mean, here's what I think. I think you hear these jokes, and you don't understand them. Mm. But I think I, I feel like it's in your mind. Mm. Just you unconsciously do these things. You know, I yeah. I believe that they. There's there's and as I get older, I'm like that was a sexual joke. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I think well, it's to it's be a lot of things, subconscious. Though. Like old Cartoon Network shows, you'll see that, you know? like. And you can either look at it as that's just the creator just being yeah, funny. Yeah, like, let me sneak this in. I think in the original Lion King, there was, what was it, like a penis in the clouds or something? Yeah, like and that. that's what I mean. You can either look at it as that's just the creator just having fun. Yeah. Or that's them trying to, like, push these images. Just like with Mar- the camel. Mm-hmm. Not Marlboro, the Camel brand making. Did you know Joe Camel? His head was shaped after a male penis. Really? There's not a female penis. (laughs) What? (laughs) Yeah. Do you know that? You're talking about the Camel, like cigarette brand. Yeah, I am. Say it again. Joe Camel. His head was to mimic. Is that the name of who's Joe Camel? The Camel brand. Is he the camel on Yeah. The, oh, okay. I didn't know. His head was... And look, you can say that I don't know what I'm talking about, but we learned this in health class. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like in seventh grade. Mm-hmm. The teacher's gone on and like, yeah, there was a problem with this and they had, they were like in a lawsuit or something. That's crazy. Yes. What's the like... Like why? Is just the, the artist... Why would they like, do that? Let me fuck around? No, not to fuck around. It was to, to... I think they got in trouble for trying to sell it to teenagers. Oh, okay. Marketing, just like Jewel. Yeah. They're in trouble right now for yeah. trying to market to teenagers. It should be, yeah. But Joe, uh, with Camel, <clears throat> they created Joe Camel, and they thought it would. they were in trouble for trying to market it to young girls. Oh, okay. Somehow they thought that seeing a shape of a dick... As a camel. As a camel would sub- get in their mind subliminally and make them want to buy it. Wow. Now, whether you believe that that actually worked or believe that that was their intention, but that was what the scandal was. Right. That's what it came off as. I completely believe Disney has done similar things. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's to kind of coerce that kind of train of thought or... Because people say sex sells. Yeah. So I don't know if it's to coerce kids to kind of like grow up with their brain that way or if it's just like they naturally think this way. Let's make them laugh and connect. That and I also think it might be like um, they're trying to do a dual audience thing. Like they have the kids thing and 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 they try to sneak it in so, you know, keep it from the kids but make where the parents can get it. 
They're trying to get as much viewer retention as they can. Like you could convince me either way and not convince me at the same time. Yeah, I hear you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyways, man, I will have to start reading some of the Star Wars books. I have a lot that Maya got me. Uh, what are they called? They're, I think they're the X Wing series. Probably. I've got one. Yeah, bought it from Barnes and Noble, and they're like eight pages ripped out, so I refuse really? to read it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She got me like Fuck. three or four. Wait, out of Barnes and Noble? Yeah. She they were not ripped. From, they were cut as if oh, they were improperly oh, unboxed or whatever. manufactured. Yeah. Not not like the damage on the outside. It oh. was like in the middle of the book. That's weird. Just missing. Did you start to read it and then you'd... I can't remember it anymore. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if you were halfway through it and you were suddenly on page like 40 and you jumped to page 50. I went postal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Committed to Harry Carey or something. What is that? Suicide. Oh. <laughs> the red pill. Oh, okay. No, that I'm thinking of something else. <laughs> not the red pill, blue pill. <laughs> that's blue like pill. that's Matrix. From, that's from the Matrix, but that's not Which about one was waking killing up. Yourself. Red pill. The red pill is yeah. waking up, right? Yeah. I don't know why I associated it with dying, but yeah, me either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I lost my train of thought. Please I, continue. I didn't have much else to say. I I've really been watching a lot of Clone Wars because of how sick I've been. That's why I'm wearing the shades. Uh, my eyes are a little gross, and my face is gross. I have face is never gross. And also, I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm still doing no shave November. Like, I know I can't grow a beard. Um, Do you remember my joke? I need to explain my joke real quick. Okay, what was the joke? We've been doing no shave November since we were twelve. Oh yeah. Well, I, I meant to imply that we've never had to try because we can't grow a beard. Yeah. <laughs> this is literally That's all funny. I can actually grow. <laughs> Well, and I get little patches like right here. Yeah, mine's not connecting right here. Like I've got this patch and it won't connect to this. But I've, I do have this. I think I could do a goatee eventually maybe. I could definitely probably do a mustache because this thing's coming along. <laughs> I know it looks bad coming right Coming strong. Now. Yeah. It looks bad right now, but I can see growth every day. Yeah, I was noticing when we were getting those cheesy potatoes. Yeah, yeah. I was like, damn, I you don't got like a shadow. I it looks at all. Like, don't get me confused. I know it looks bad, but you have to... You have to go through the bad to get to the yeah, better. To get you know? to the better, you have to break a few legs to make an omelet. Did you say I legs? Said what I said. <laughs> uh, I try to make jokes all the time <laughs> at work. My friend was like, "When are you going to break, or where are you going to break at?" Yeah, and I said, "Your fucking knees, bitch!" <laughs> <laughs> In emotion, like I was cracking his legs. <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> how does that? How does that play out? He didn't know what I was talking about, <laughs> and I thought he took it sexually. <clears throat> Oh. But he didn't. He just didn't know what the hell I was saying. Mm-hmm. So it got really awkward really quick. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Wow. What have you been up to? I mean, that's. My, that's I'm trying my to remember. Week. Work has gotten real busy. Yeah, I bet. It's holiday, dude. I don't even want to think about going to Walmart. Anytime from now until like Wait, January. Wait, why did I say work and you associate it with work? No, I was just talking about how busy it is in life. Like, yeah. if you go to like Walmart or any store, it's just super busy there. <clears throat> All I can say is whoever was working over paper, they must be working constantly right now. I think I know. I think I know that guy. And <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's a sweet chap. I love him. Dude, imagine grocery though. People be buying Thanksgiving shit. Mm. Hmm. You know what? We had an early Thanksgiving. I my, had one yesterday. At my in-laws. I think that's how I got sick. Oh. Can we talk about how I did... Oh, no. <laughs> what? Okay. I need to... I want to say the funny thing that happened with your brother. Okay. <laughs> I go out to pick him up, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm telling Brendan this. Okay, but go ahead. I will, I won't say I will make it in no. terms of the audience as well, because Brendan knows more than the audience. We didn't know if we were going to shoot tonight. Yeah. So I called Daniel, and Daniel's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, I'm going to come outside your house and wait for you while you get ready. I'm going to call Brennan. Okay. Call, that was supposed to be you. Oh, okay. That was accurate. I called Brennan. The mofo don't answer, so I try to leave him a message. And I park outside of Daniel's house waiting on him. And I'm like, Daniel, or Brennan hasn't answered yet, blah, blah, blah. So I'm waiting there outside of his house, and I'm hoping that Daniel had the courtesy to go tell his family that there's going to be a, somebody up parked outside. I don't outside. tell them shit. Because <laughs> I know his family's a little wacky about people just being outside their house. No, they're not. We don't care. I mean... I mean, who cares? There's some strange cars outside their home. 
So anyways, I'm parked out there. And all of a sudden, his brother comes out. And I just look up and I see him check his car door is locked. And he walks back in. And I'm like, what? That's hilarious. I'm a burglar. No, that I, reminds me. I think he was going to get something for his car. But <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I think Don't so. play it off. No, I think so. And then he saw, he saw you. He was like, I'm just going to. I have to. I don't want to like. I have to commit. Why didn't he come back out with his keys then? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Dude, no. He was coming out there because your sister's probably convinced him, go check. We'll see who that is. And he starts walking out there and he goes, oh, it's it's Ben. But then he's too committed and he doesn't want to seem too weird. So he walks up and checks his car to see if it's locked. But then I think that motherfucker saw me and still thinks he needs to check his car. Damn. I should I windows were open. I should have been like, I mean, hey, is your car locked? <laughs> I mean, how many cars have you been breaking into? I should have been like, you got anything good in there? <laughs> Damn, I don't know if that's the case. I, mean, I don't know. I'm having fun with it. Though. I can check. Yeah, no, it's, it's a funny story. Maybe that is the case. I'm so unca- un. The computer just went ding. I'm so not worried about how people feel about me outside mm-hmm. of work. That I'm like, that's hilarious. I kind of feel that. But I think you should let him know I won't steal his stuff. I genuinely been aside from the joke. Don't think he was. I don't know. I think he I was don't think going he really, to get something. I think. I don't think he was going to get something because he never came back out. Listen, and he probably still hasn't come back out. But I think he was checking to see who it was in the car. Maybe, but I don't. I don't think he knew you were out there. He just was, ask. Him. He walks to his car all the time. I will, but I think he was just going to get something just for in fun. His car. Well, a little stroll he doesn't the car. live with us, so he, he he when he's down here, he's only here like two days a week. But he keeps stuff in his car, yeah, because it wouldn't make sense to move in, move out weekly. Um, but I think he was gonna go grab something. Then he was like, "There's a car in my driveway. Oh shit! I don't want to lock eyes with the person in the seat. Uh, I'm just gonna click the thing and go back inside." He didn't click anything. He came up and pulled it. Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. Maybe he didn't go back out because he was like, "That's weird." Maybe he genuinely forgot his keys and he didn't go back out because he was like, "I'm not going back out until he's gone." <laughs> too, too awkward. <laughs> yeah. I can live without like, whatever not it only is. Did he forget his keys? But somebody saw him forget his keys. <laughs> Why would you go back out? Dude, <clears throat> which brings me to this book I've been reading. Not it is one. so good. No, it's called The Plague Tales. Oh, yeah. By Anne. Um, Anna? I don't remember already. Oh, I was trying to plug her It work. is so good, dude. I have learned something in the past few weeks. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll say a month from reading more. I've been reading books that I've had on my shelves and I've never read before because I thought... Uh, I don't think I like this. Yeah. I just stick through it, and all of a sudden, I find myself reading going, oh, my God. Like, <laughs> a good like a good writer can do that. Well, forget good writer. I've cheated myself by only choosing genres that right. I know I liked. Right. I knew I loved uh, sci-fi, so I always read Star Wars. Mm-hmm. And I knew I loved mysteries <laughs> type thrillers, so I always read John Grisham. Yeah. But I never experimented with like other areas. Well, here's what I'm saying. When somebody, I think when some people sit down to create something, they're not doing it with a genre in mind. They're just creating something that's like cool. And that's my favorite kind of work, I think. Like how Kanye West, I wouldn't just call him a rapper anymore at all. He's just like, he's got an. He's himself. He's himself. He's an artist. He's got, I could call him an artist because that's just somebody who creates. It's not limited to rap, but he, he is a music creator. He's an artist. But well, that's. I think that's why genres kind of because I, I I know what you're talking about like you'll stay away from a drama uh, genre because you're like uh, I probably wouldn't like that but there's good things in there there's, yeah there's a problem because when you get a genre there's <laughs> ranges there's a spectrum yeah, you, of that like, genre so then either the author has to sit down and be like well I'm gonna write a book to fit this genre so I can sell or I'm gonna make this awesome story and whatever. and they fit it yeah but listen this particular book dude is insane it ranges it's about the plague the Black Death mm-hmm. is it set in that time. Listen, this is what's really great. It starts out with it being present day, mm-hmm. 2005, because it's kind of it's not an old book, mm-hmm. but it's like ten years, a decade old, maybe. 2005, then all of a sudden it jumps back into like the 1300s or 1400s when the Black Death the yeah. went around with a, a Jewish Spaniard, and it follows the story. And several times I've like. And I wanted to cry. Like, there's a point where the the, hell? the, the Jew, the, the Jew, he's a he's he's called a medicus or a doctor or something like that. And 
he is trying to have some knowledge and the Pope doesn't allow cadavers to be just worked on. So he oh, grave robs. Oh my God. He gosh. gets caught. Don't tell me anything else. I want to read it. Dude. You're done. It is so fucking good. It, it just jumps good. back and forth and there's constantly, I'm going, oh my God. Yeah. So I want to read it right now. In, we have to end this. <laughs> when it's in current day, whose perspective is it from? Um, her name's Janie Crow. It's a, a dude. Just, I, that's all I need to know. No listen, more. I will. I will tell you. I gotta look at my hair. Did I make it weird? Okay. I got, listen to this. I was on my lunch break mm-hmm. in my car, reading. I started to cry. Damn, dude. They go into her her backstory. Mm-hmm. This is during the plague, having an outbreak in present day times, <coughs> and no one's looking for the plague. Okay. Guess not. Like you mean right now? I mean, people get the plague. Mm-hmm. Still, I actually got concerned. <laughs> you after have I read, the plague? after I, no, not for uh, myself, but I, I read an article. I might have the plague about the plague being in China, mm-hmm. and then I learned, oh, it people well, there's get like it. a couple cases a year in America. Yeah, in America, and more than a couple. Yeah, a few, a handful. And anyways, uh, a bit. I just thought it was really coincidental no, that I was reading this book all of a sudden, and then this news article about the plague came up. Mm-hmm. The simulation is continuing. I know. I know what you're talking that about. That makes me think of something else. That but... makes me think of any time I open Instagram or anything and I've thought of something one time like and it's there. a few days ago. Like, and, and I've never put that in a search engine. I may have said it out loud. There but, you go. Yeah. But like it's just there. And sometimes it's purely thought. Hold on. I have to say what I want you right to there. ask me about later or else like, I'm going me. to forget. Buy me now. I already forgotten. What was it? Let's read. That was nice. <laughs> when um, it's fucking gone. How much of this Foster you had? Come on. He's had like a. I a, had a. a I third. had a good swallow of this. Oh, okay. A few good swallows. Okay. Okay. You're you're off the hook. One one For large swallow maybe. I don't know. No. Oh God. <clears throat> what the hell. Let's see. We were talking about the plague. Yes. And it was coincidental and it coincidences, simulation, Instagram ads. No, you went too far. It was in between Instagram. I was hoping that looking at myself in the eyes would in help between me Instagram. So after the plague, Instagram yeah, wow. and there wasn't much between Instagram and now. I'll be honest with you. There was Instagram. And there was ads. a word that was said and it made me think of something and now it's gone. I'm gonna start just blurting out whatever I need to. Damn, dude. I just want to say it just so you'll remember what I want you to ask me about later. So you want to put the responsibility off to me because then I'll forget it and you'll be upset that we didn't talk about it. But it was my fault. It's your fault. Because you said to remind you of radishes. In fact, it's your fault you didn't let me blurt it out in the first place. (laughs) You can, though. You're the one who said you were going to interrupt me less. I just did it right now. I know. I'm doing it still. I hate that about myself. I do my best to like... Like, let you have your platform, you know? Dude, I you're know you a fucking your... mint. I know, dude. Daniel, fucking mint. <laughs> I don't like to talk a lot. So when anyone else volunteers to, I'm like, brother, you go fight that guy. <laughs> I'll sit here. Uh, I'm going to go back into this, though. Okay. They go into the book, and I know it's fake. Well, it's fiction. It, yeah, but... The way it is described, I was like, what if that was real? Because you think, oh, it was an outbreak of the plague. But then they talk about they were holding people at gunpoint because they were so afraid of getting the plague and they don't know who had it, so they just shoot them. Yeah, that's but something that would happen. Another point, they were just killing babies. There's Damn, dead babies because they the, the whole maternity ward got it. Damn. They put like schools on lockdown and <laughs> kids were dying left and right. And I was like, oh, my God. And you know what? Mm-hmm. I don't believe it will be the plague, but I believe an epidemic like that will happen. Yeah, I mean, probably, but when? Are we we like abuse soon? medicine as it is, but we're not smart enough yet to stifle all diseases. Yeah. And diseases are becoming, or viruses and bacteria are able to mutate. They're getting stronger. To offset. Mm-hmm. So we have to continuously figure out how to offset the offset. Mm-hmm. And it's like, eventually we're not going to be able to figure it out probably. Just wash your hands, kids. <laughs> I am like sicker than a dog right now. This is just my wash fifth, your hands, boys. This and is girls. my fifth day of being like sick. Uh, so wash your hands and uh, don't go anywhere if you can help it. Especially fucking Walmart. Here's a general rule. <laughs> Bleep that out. You will figure this out 
the more stressed you are, the more prone to sickness you are. You're, yeah, that's true too. Probably. Also, I've learned to never touch my face. I know. I I got into a habit of not. Touching I think I've my touched face. my face a few times during this. I got into the habit of not touching it, but then I've had all this stuff growing on my face this month. So I've like, been like this fuzz or whatever. So I've been. And you've been feeling it. Yeah, I've been feeling <laughs> it, and it's coincidentally right by my mouth, and so I'm sure I've picked up all kinds of like plague-like diseases in Walmart. Let's talk about how. Think about it. You put your hands on that shopping cart. And just think, think about who had been living in that thing before you got to it. Here's here's what or I witnessed. Who's nasty, m- dirty feet? Many, many times. People taking shits, <laughs> getting up. I'm in the bathroom peeing, right? Mm-hmm. And I They'll hear, walk out without washing their hands. And I hear them walk out yep, without washing just their hands. Completely I'm like, out. wow, they got fecal matter. I'll go in there to wash my hands sometimes just because I feel like I need to wash my hands. I'll see somebody at the urinal, walk away. They won't even They won't even just do anything. They and I'm like, dude, out. I don't know how much... Like, <laughs> and they put their hand right on that handle that you touch later. They like, believe so hardcore that their soap is so strong I that know. their penis is clean. <laughs> or they just... I don't know, dude. It blows my mind. Just... Blows my mind. But don't go anywhere. My look, mom my mom about that kind of stuff. You're wearing a Star Wars hat. I yeah, love that. that. I, I love wanted that. to talk a lot about Star Wars tonight, and we did, I think. But I can't believe you. I think your mission next time is to watch the Clone Wars, and then we'll talk about it. If you watch it with me, I will. But There's you're not seasons. a good enough friend to me that you won't. I don't have a car. There's you're here seasons. tonight. You want to watch it all tonight, all six seasons. Okay. I'll watch one Okay. episode. They're good short episodes. They're like 20, 30 minutes. Listen, throughout the day, when I go to break, I wash my hands. When mm-hmm. I go to lunch, before I clock <clears> out, I wash my hands. When I come back, I wash my hands. I'm fortunate enough to, to work where there's like mini sinks near me, so I wash my hands. Like These, these bitches get dried out. That's how much I <laughs> So I had to buy some like moisturizing soap because I'm using soap so often that it might as well moisturize my hands too so it doesn't... Like dry them out. No, but do you lather up to the elbow? Not. Uh, Are you like it, a surgeon? I wear exposed sleeves, skin. I, I go up to right here because I do bring people's food out a lot, and I'm like t- setting it down on tables, you know. So I go up to like mid, like almost to my elbow, but not quite. I uh, just want to report. <coughs> uh, Daniel never came over or called me for that sous vide. But you know what? That same night, and it's on video because I rewatched our podcast. I said. We'll go sit in your car or Brennan's car and listen to the Kanye album. Huh? And then I immediately asked you if we should. And you were like, no. I'm it was like midnight. Work. So I was probably sick the next day. Those, those are both excuses. We both just gave an excuse. Yours was, it was like midnight. Mine was, I was sick and dying. Which one is more valid? <laughs> well, not you because you're very fucking dramatic. I'm just playing, dude. It's all love. But... I'm fucking serious. <laughs> but you, I'm just saying I, I didn't come over and do something, but you also didn't do something you said you were going to do. No, I was down for it, just not at that particular time. <laughs> I'm down for the sous vide or whatever, but at that time, I was doing something that obviously, I'm sick of your... obviously had more weight in that moment. Look, we're never going to get anywhere, so just call me right, okay? You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is this what Sable has to live through? <laughs> just like, you're right, Ben. <laughs> Don't pander me. Okay. But I'll accept it. Okay. Hmm. Got it. Um, oh, my God. I wish I could stop losing this train. I think the train has left the station. Dude. Yeah, and I'm behind. <laughs> I'm on the platform. Yeah. With my ticket stub. I'm like, <laughs> wait for me. And I get hit by the next train. Just gone. <laughs> <laughs> Bullet train. Yeah. Oh, we can talk a little bit about the Tesla Cybertruck. Oh, dude. I saw something else that somebody was like, is Elon Musk getting ahead of the game for the I'm oncoming Civil 100% War? 100% for that truck. I guarantee you Kanye West is going to get one. If he doesn't, I'll, I'll come back on and tell myself that I was wrong. Here's but the problem. I, I love it. I'm going to tell you a problem. I went to Tesla's website to look at their vehicles okay. and to price them. Because I've many times thought, should I just do it? Should I just sign my life away and become a slave to the system and buy a Tesla? I think you'd be breaking free from the system because you'll never have to pay for gas again. No, I wouldn't have to pay for gas. I'd have to pay for electricity. It's much cheaper. And one of them... What about charging stations? Are they free? No. Oh. <laughs> but they have a flat rate that they say won't change. Well, there you go. Because the sun is free, so they can produce oh, that energy. Oh, solar? Dang. Tesla stations. Tesla stations Dang. are... Not regular charging stations. Right, no, I know, yeah. Let me find my friend sent me... um... Okay. 
So the Cybertruck <coughs> for the uh, okay, he just sent me an image. Let's see. The single motor rear wheel drive base price 39900. Okay. 40,000, which is the price of a regular truck. Yeah. I'd say about the price. <clears throat> I'd say Dual this. motor, all wheel drive, forty nine nine hundred. Yeah, all of a sudden, options, right? ten thousand dollars more. Mm-hmm. Tri motor, all wheel drive, sixty nine nine hundred. And then, if you wanted the self driving capabilities, it's an extra seven thousand on whatever option you choose. Plus, there's other options to add to that car. As far as I don't think that's a bad way to go about it, though, because you'll get your truck people who are like, I don't want that self driving doohickey on my truck. <laughs> <laughs> and so they won't want the self driving. Why? Why should they pay an extra seven thousand? I think that's where Elon's mind is at. No, and I meant what ahead. I'm saying is people are like it's it's the because the Model S or the Model Three was okay. supposed to be marketed as the first ever affordable mm-hmm. family electric car, <clears throat> and it's affordable in the fact that if you get the very base model that goes only like two hundred two hundred something miles, mm-hmm. yeah, it's affordable. But two hundred something miles, imagine. You have to charge. There's not a charging station. I get that for where we're at. We're not equipped for that yet. But I'm in California all the time. There's people in Teslas left and right because they have the capability. They have the charging stations. I get what you're saying. Like 200 miles, you can't. You you can't. That would be like going to Berryville and back like two times a week. You know. But imagine. In fact, here's what's really cool about Tesla, is there was a customer. I remember we were getting a call. It said, do you... Ha- I remember that too. Yeah. They, were, they were like, well, yes, we're from Tesla, and we, we have a customer that's running out of charge near your area, and we need to know if you have a charging port, because we read an article yeah. that all Walmarts are you having what? charging ports. That's what made me really like Tesla, because they called you guys, really, mm-hmm. trying to take care of their customers. Cool. That was really great, Yeah, but they failed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but isn't the, he going to do that now, implement all Walmarts? I don't know. I've not heard of that. Oh. Uh, the other thing was batteries... Mm-hmm. Or fucking expensive. If mm-hmm. your battery goes out now, Tesla's different because Tesla has a image, an image that people believe in. But when I first got into the idea of an electric car, right now they are not. Yeah, they're they're they don't make sense right now because yeah, yeah you can go use a but whatever the batteries themselves cost so much. The Nissan Leaf. Well, how often do you have to re- replace the battery? It depends. Oh. It could just go bad like regularly? Like their powertrain warranty for the Nissan Leaf was like 30,000 miles. My car is rated for like 80,000 or something. Yeah, yeah. Well. And I fill up maybe once every two weeks. I don't think it's perfect I would yet. have to fill up every single night with a car. I don't think it's perfect yet because we're just now getting into like where everyone can even have it. So there's going to be the like things that to work out oh I, I, I yeah yeah it's far from perfect yeah but what i'm saying is i think it'll only get better though for myself i can't bite the bullet and try to buy one can't of those cars yeah yeah because for one if something happens to the battery now tesla's different because tesla might take care of you mm-hmm. but if my battery starts going bad and all of a sudden i'm out of warranty when i first looked at it it was like another seven thousand dollars for a new battery it's not like yeah, that's, I mean that costs more than rebuilding your transmission or whatever. I mean I can get a car, car for seven thousand. <laughs> yeah, you can get a car. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's another thing I want to talk about. Remember, remind me getting a car for I'll under try, seven thousand. Please, I'll try, please, Brendan, please, please, <laughs> please. I beg you, I will forget. I've already forgotten. Just say it after the thing you're gonna say now. <laughs> but I've already forgotten. <laughs> Crack me. I'm, up. I can't grab the words. It's okay, like a ledge and it's starting to saying. slip. And I'm like, ah! You're gonna forget what you were saying. <sighs> Seven thousand for a battery. <laughs> Seven thousand for the battery, and then the disposal. The cost of the disposal. Oh, they charge you to dispose of it. I saw this cool video. No, they don't charge you to cost. Oh. But I'm talking about hazardous waste. You're yeah. wanting to do electric for the betterment of the environment, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gasoline. You're putting in chemicals in the air. Yes. Degradation the of the battery. ozone. Global warming. But the battery is harming the earth as it is. Damn. When it's sitting in the ground. I mean that. You can't even throw... You're not even supposed to throw away regular batteries. That's radiation. You, right? you know you can't... No. Oh. You can't throw away regular batteries, you know? Yeah, yeah. You're supposed to dispose of them properly. Who does mm-hmm. that? Nobody. That's not... That acid that... Batteries are just you know chemicals. What? I would like to say you're one of the few people I know of that has rechargeable batteries. And I think that's really cool. Yeah. I, I use, use rechargeable them. batteries constantly. Yeah. But here's... I'm gonna... Oh my God. My mind is just awoke. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. There's several problems with electric vehicles right now. Okay. One... Solar, we're not efficient with it yet. Okay. We will get there, but right now it's not a very 
a viable option for most people. Two, wind sucks. Mm. Uh, but but three, batteries, because it's just a chemical reaction between two different things. They got several kind of batteries. They got lithium batteries and they got ion. I don't, I, I don't know. I can't remember all the batteries. Yeah. But they've got several batteries. And it's just a chemical reaction. they got one chemical on one side, one chemical on the other. They go through this like uh, substrate or whatever, and it connects. And then when you charge it, it separates them back out. But every time you do that, there's less and less that you can recharge. It gets retained or whatever? To maintain a healthy battery life, you do not charge over 80% on an electric car. I mm-hmm. believe Tesla noted that on their website. Mm-hmm. So you automatically, at 300 miles, automatically reduce it by 20%. I don't know. What is 80% of 300? I do not know. Oh, 10% of 300 is 30. Wait, 10% of 300 is 30. Okay. So, huh? 240? Okay, so you no longer yeah. can go 300 miles because you aren't supposed to only charge it to uh, 240, 240 mm, miles worth. Okay, okay so your, your mileage is already reduced by 60 miles. And then... To maintain a healthy battery life, you do not let it go below 20%. Damn, so it's another Regular point. batteries, if under 20%, are de- degraded faster mm. So when you when you recharge it. So you need to go above 20%. You need to be between this range of 20 and 80%. So how much does that leave you with? I don't know. Like I haven't 30? checked the math on that, but I know that's how batteries are. Damn. So imagine all of a sudden your 300-something mile, uh, mile range it's really limited because you have to try to maintain your healthy battery life. Now, say that you don't maintain a healthy battery lifestyle mm-hmm. and you, and you ru- ruin your battery. Say you ruin your battery and it's not in warranty. Okay. All of a sudden, you got to pay for a brand new fucking battery. And when I last looked for the Nissans, it was like $7,000. 7700 Maybe that price has changed. Maybe not. But that's, a, that's just for one battery. And the Teslas, I think they offer like three different batteries. I don't know. I'm I'm speaking out of things I don't know right so now. As, it, as far as, as the it Tesla. stands right now, it seems like Tesla is, is good for people, maybe who drive within a 20 mile radius to work. No, no, Tesla is good as far as I think they're reliable. I think Elon's crazy. I th- but I, all I geniuses love, are crazy. Yeah, name one name genius. Name one genius. crazy, dude. And that's why I like the Tesla truck because he's making a truck, but he's also He's just another billionaire, you know? Did you watch his demonstration? I did, where they it didn't break. It was sad. I mean, it did break. No, I think that was a good move. Yeah, I, I think Cause so. Because at first, people are like, oh, that's a fake sledgehammer. It. He's not really hitting that steel door. <laughs> right. And all of a sudden, they break the window. And they're like, wait. But it's surprising know, when they broke the window. Maybe that steel was really steel. Maybe yeah. that hammer is real. Yeah. I, I mean, it wasn't a huge deal that it broke the window, because yeah, bulletproof who's, glass is easy. And plus... Why are we buying bulletproof glass trucks? <laughs> Dude, I think he's preparing for a civil war. I, know. I think that's why Kanye will get one is because it is because of the bullet. Just Kanye has like two ranches in Wyoming now, and he has this like subterranean vehicle that he can get in the water in, and it also goes on the land. It's got these huge wheels. I think just two. The life wheels. of Kanye, man. It's awesome, but I think he he would see that Tesla truck and go. <laughs> Get four of those for the ranch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's only a hundred dollars down to, to get your to truck. Reserve one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, anyways, the Model S. Or, <clears throat> I keep saying Model S because that is a model for Tesla. <clears throat> the Model Three was a similar <laughs> pricing strategy. They have the regular base price was like thirty five thousand or something, something cheap. Yeah, and then you have. Your long range, maybe that's to get which is electric, forty-five thousand, and then your your performance level was a, a higher price. I think that's a good move because he's got the different prices for if somebody wants, you know, if you want, if you can afford. But then he's got the no, base the prices. The problem for is marketing it as the first, the, the affordable family right. electric car. But yeah, the base model is, but. But you can't go anywhere with it, right? And you take your family's places, yeah. You know, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's not. It wouldn't be a good, like, road trip if it, if it had such low mileage. It wouldn't be such a good. And second, I need to it'd look be at like a good back and forth to work car. You know, I used to break uh, electricity down per kilowatt hour. How much it costs really? us per kilowatt hour Damn. to run the uh, air conditioner? Yeah. And here's what I know. Okay. That you're trading one expense for the other. It's not like it's just going to be massively cheaper. Yeah. You're trading your gas bill for your electric bill. Mm-hmm. Now, which one would you rather pay for? Now, Tesla does <laughs> have a cool situation. Well, they'll put solar panels on your house. Oh, really? So you have your own prorated 
Don't energy. you get a tax break or something like that too? Uh, yeah. There's some. There's a fifteen hundred dollar now. It used to be like over seven thousand dollars that the federal government would give you mm-hmm. on a, a tax credit, so it would take it off of your mm-hmm. total price. It's no longer seven thousand. It's only like fifteen hundred. Yeah. Tax credit. I think it's. <coughs> Maybe they take it off your total price. I, I say tax credit. I don't know how. It applies. I get what you mean. Some kind of reward. Yeah. For going electric. So it would be like fifteen hundred dollars cheaper. Yeah. But I think they also give you a credit for if you put solar panels on your house. Nice. Now the cool thing is, you ever heard of Shine Solar? No. You could have them put solar panels on your house, but their cool thing was, yeah, it's going to cost you to do this, but. No longer will you be paying for someone else's energy. You're paying for your own energy. Mm. So you're, you're paying a loan, but for energy that you constantly get. I heard something, though, that energy will charge you for the inner, the inner, the like solar energy that you get or something like that. You're saying energy? The... Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, I don't, know, I don't know how much of this is true. I, I don't look it up. <coughs> that sable? Hello. Hi. I don't remember calling. I'm in the middle of a podcast. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, I love your union car. KFC, I love you. Bye. <laughs> I hope she got the hint. Did you guys get it? I got it, but I thought you were asking if she was in her car because you wanted to stay on the phone with her until she was safe in her car. But you just wanted to know if she had left yet so she could get you KFC. I No, I do like to make sure she's in her car. But right. as the time goes on, I get less and less worried about it. <laughs> there was a shooting. In at, her, park, at, her, at hers? Yeah. Really? In the par- oh, that, in that in parking, parking lot, lot at that Walmart in Oklahoma? Oh, that was a different one. Okay. Yeah, it was a separate one. There was one in hers? Somebody like had a uh, was like holding up the McDonald's or something. Anyone harmed? I don't know. She didn't say much about it. So I guess no one got hurt. <laughs> Dude. Damn. Uh, anyways. I, oh, here's something great. Okay. I hate when people report things as mass shootings when they're not mass shootings. Yeah, I think we talked about that before, like the, the number or whatever. Yeah, the number. I mean... <clears throat> Well, you just said shooting, but then you said it was a holdup, so... No, no, no. I never called it a mass shooting. Oh, I know. Mass shooting know. denotes a whole other thing. I know, yeah. When you go from shooting to mass shooting, all of a sudden you entered a realm of tragedy to political tragedy. Gotcha, yeah. Uh, political push. Uh, that shooting in the Walmart parking lot uh, affected three people, one of whom was a shooter. So I'm going to call it two. Why did you do it like that? <laughs> two people. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Two people. But there were CNN articles, and I think there was an ABC article calling it a mass shooting. And I'm like, what the fuck? The FBI like doesn't call it a mass to, shooting. They're quick to jump to that. No, that's not a quick... What do you mean? They're quick to jump to it was a mass shooting because it, it'll sell, it'll get clicks, whatever. It's like mass shooting. I think it's to... Which is sickening because... Push like, gun control. Oh, maybe. I don't think it's to sell. I can either comment or deny or anything that, but uh, I, I think it's to push gun control. Could be right, but I think media outlets are just like there was a shooting at a Walmart. Where? Run that. Run it now. Just call it mass. Get get as many p- clicks on that. We'll do it can. live. You know, Fuck it. You know what I mean? And that's 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 like disgusting. But I think it is disgusting. I think that's a, I think that's the way it is. So that's why sometimes it won't be accurate. They'll call it mass. It'll be two people. You know, I guess it's misreported. I respect your belief in that, but I believe it's more political. Yeah, it could be. Uh, the well, reason yeah. I believe it's more political is because of the corporations too. that own all the news agencies. Mm, yeah. And um, I don't know. And the benefit they would get from pushing the ideology and the the political agenda of the people that are allowing and are making laws for these companies. Yeah. So uh, – Back to what you said about seven thousand dollars to buy a car. Oh yes, I, I was, remember. I was gonna forget. <laughs> I remember, guys. Not gonna lie. I'm pretty proud of myself, <laughs> dude. Yeah. I just thought of another story. Okay. No, God, no. I'm full of story right one. now. Say this one. Remind me a light switch. A light. Just switch. say light switch, light and I'll understand switch. exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. Okay. As he chugs his Fosters, I'm gonna be like light switch. He's gonna be like, "What are you talking about? There's one right there, but what do you mean?" Okay, go ahead. Eating lunch with my father. Okay. Pizza. I had the Aloha chicken. From? Luau. Brick oven. Okay. 
the place in which I was employed for four years and only made eight fifteen. After four wow. years, man, I miss working there. I'd bring home food every night. I would. I would. I never went hungry. You know what? I'm about at the point in my life where I'm ready to never be around another fryer, another <laughs> wok. Like I, I just hate it now. That's f- <laughs> what? I almost said that was GD racist. Oh. But my mom might watch this. Yeah. And I every time I say something bad, I'm like, oh, my mom's going to watch this. No, I just, I, I'm so sick of, like. I love you, mom. Like, food work. Like I service. love food work. I liked it, too. And I see your charm at it because you're looking at it from a, a removed perspective. Once you're back in it, dude, you'll just want to go home. Just be like, oh, can't wait till I get off. Like, In it, I never disliked Oh, did you ever serve job. customers, though, or were you just in the kitchen? I was in the, I. Because what I'm talking about kind of is I like busted both. tables a few times. Okay. I could bust tables all day long. Because if you see a bust? customer. I could bust, I guess. Busted? Bust. Like B-U-S-S or B-U-S-T? I think it's bus. When I say they bust that table, I, I think I B-U-S-S-E-D? E-D, I think. Yeah. I think it's bust the <laughs> table. And that might come from like you carry out that little tub. Yeah. It's like a bus kind of. I think it's something like that. I had a special method, but continue. Okay. I would rather bus tables all day long. I don't even do that anymore. I have someone do that for me because I, I have to deal with the damn customers, you know? But I would You I fucking mind, regal machine. I wouldn't mind working in the kitchen or bussing tables. I'm talking about when you have to do those two and also deal with the customers and check them out. And it's just like I'm tired of it. I'm ready to stop <laughs> serving people like – I only worked in the kitchen. Yeah. And a few times I interacted good. with customers. Right. I could deal with that. I could be like, oh, how was your food? Yeah, I'm glad you liked it. I got you a few stories, actually. Again. I got a few stories, dude. Yeah? Oh, my God. There's this one time I was making a pizza. I remember I, we call it the pizza, we call it the pizza line. Bless you. Uh, thanks for interrupting me. We call it the pizza line. It's, you know, we had all of our ingredients, yeah. you know, lined down the line. And I was making one. And my friend at the time was also back there with me. And this woman just walks in the kitchen and she's asking us to make something, and I'm like, she walked in there. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, you need to leave the kitchen. And my friend was just talking with her. I'm like, no, Andrew, she needs to leave this kitchen. Yeah. And I don't. Oh, I just said his name. <laughs> and I don't know what happened, but she like looked at me, and I'm like, you need to leave this kitchen. I'll come out there. You cannot be back here. <laughs> yeah. And uh, she refused to leave, and she was asking if we could make something with whipped cream that she brought. Ew. And I'm like, look, I'll make whatever you want. Get out of this kitchen. <laughs> but I was the guy that was like, I'll make whatever you guys want. I'm gonna tell you what it's like first. Like this one person wanted to make like a thick crust, and I'm like, mm-hmm. you don't understand. Mm-hmm. Our pizza dough is not meant for thick it won't crust. Work like that. No, but I will try to do that yeah. for you if you want. Like I will layer two two individuals crust for mm-hmm. you. Anyways, that's a different story. But I remember thinking the fuck is wrong with this woman i have told her eight times to leave this kitchen and she's still standing there was she like in a state like was she she seemed like she was off her rocker Mm -hmm. by the way somebody was coming through my current place of employment Mm -hmm. and asked where's the front (laughs) and my friend that was with me was like it's uh it's uh, up front (laughs) no he he goes it's it's that way she's like what's that way what what, what, what?" she goes what aisle number is it what aisle is the front yeah and i look at her i swear to god i looked at her as if nothing in this world existed except her and me and i thought what is wrong with you (laughs) and my friend looked at her and he goes there's not an aisle number it's a cash register just (laughs) you just go that way and he points again. It's pretty much a straight... You don't have to turn. Who gets lost in a store? Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking Walmart. You just said it where it was. No, I didn't. <laughs> um, Who I gets lost? Dude, I can understand. I that. almost called the hospital to see if they were missing a patient. No, that's... Jesus! That's hilarious. I can understand not being able to find something, but not knowing where the front is. That's like, happened to me twice. We all like to day drink sometimes, but come on, lady. You know what I mean? <laughs> Seriously, Not and uh, something has happened to you twice. S- no, 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 that woman, a, a customer uh, asking, "Where's the front of the store?" Hmm, that's so absurd to me because you it is. In it. You, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know the first mean? person was, I think, <clears throat> not as. I can see rude. like where's sporting goods, but where's the front? I get that all the time. Yeah. This one guy, he was, I believe, he was in a. It was been a while in an electric cart. Mm-hmm. He's like. 
how do I leave? <laughs> no, I can understand that. We're, we're in the main aisle. Yeah. And he just looks at me. He's like, how do I leave this store? And I I'm like. Every time I go into that store. Look, I, I go, <clears throat> go that way. <laughs> Did he have anything in his cart that he could have left? I don't remember. <laughs> he just asked me, how do I leave this place? Look, he does his shopping and he's like. He was he's so like, tired of existing. <laughs> he was so tired of existence at that point. I feel just like, that. I can understand that. He just, he's wrong. <laughs> like when it's how do I leave? When it's middle, <laughs> when it's like mid Thanksgiving shopping season, I'm just like, how do I leave? I don't need groceries. Oh my god, man. Okay, back to the seven thousand dollars for a car. Yeah, I can't believe we bypassed that. We were sitting down. I can't believe I'm remembering it, but I'm I'm doing good. Get it out, hurry. We're sitting down eating our food, and I talked to my dad or my okay. mom about. My, my mom was also there. About the $1,500 Motorola Razor phone that's new. The flippable one? I mean, sorry, I want it. The... I want it so bad. Yeah, get it. Okay. My dad goes, you know what's crazy? That's a phone for $1,500, and you can take that money and go buy a car. I know, yeah. That will get you to and fro. <laughs> yeah, it is it is crazy. Priorities, right? What's really crazy is to think about what goes into making this. Don't people don't they have to like mine for something? I told you sulfur mines. Sulfur mines, yeah. Uh, all the things that go into this, and people don't realize how expensive these phones are. I mean, they realize how expensive they are, but they don't realize why. They think it's just an upcharge or something. Yeah, they think it's just like, oh, that's a crazy cost. It's like, mm -hmm. but what goes into that phone mm -hmm. is crazy. I think all the time that my phone is insane. There's things you can do on it. I think just having a phone is it is insane. It's a huge privilege. I also think I'm on it way too much, which I hate. So I think I'm gonna start reading again. So I'm Please genuinely do. serious. I want to borrow that book. Just start 30 minutes a night. Before you go to bed, you go, wait. And you know what? you sleep so much better, too, because you weren't on your fucking no, phone. No, let me tell you the experience I've had. Go for it. I Listen, think we talked oh about this last God. episode. We talked about this last episode, but go. Let me tell you what's happened, okay? Yeah. I cannot believe the relief I have of this. It's like a crazy it's transition. It's like a weight lifted off you. It's a transition. Exactly. It's a lifestyle change. I know what you're talking about. I wish I could live it, but... Look... <laughs> Used to, I had to sleep with the TV on because I'd go to dark. Need, like, I would noise. go to a dark yeah, place, man. I know what you mean. I think about my parents dying. I think about my loved Don't ones even dying. have to tell me, dude. I know. You I'm know what I'm talking there, about. I'm not, you know. It's not just you know what I'm talking about. But other you, people do too. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Everybody, I used. You, we're addicted you know, to our. I saw this thing on, on Facebook today. Just let me say really quick. It says it said we're addicted to our phones because we can't handle like reality. The, the like 30 seconds of not being on it. Like you get, you think so much in those 30 seconds. Yeah. You're like, I just want to kill myself. You know, I need another meme on Instagram. Imagine what the it's old crazy. people used to do. Like, yeah. they had to deal with those <laughs> that's thoughts. Why we, that's why they did cocaine and, like, smoke cigarettes. And most of them have, like, lung problems now. I mean, who just smokes cigarettes for fun? <laughs> that shit's, like, poison. <laughs> I want to fucking kill myself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, they didn't have these little laser beams with the little funny pictures on them, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I was something else. Okay. God. Uh, side tangent. We're getting on too many. Side tangent. Isn't it crazy when you realize that every thought you've thought has been thought already by somebody else? Have you ever had a thought one time where you're like, no one's ever thought that? Because I have. I <laughs> used to feel like that all the time. And then finally I had this realization, no, I'm not the only one. And I think that's where I started to feel better about myself is when mm. you realize... You're not the only one thinking these things. Yeah. Like, just that moment where I was like, "You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about." And I just get those head nods. It's like realizing you're not the only person to go through something. Mm -hmm. That's why I think suicide prevention, like all it's those, about reaching out. It's just like knowing that you're not alone in feeling something. You should is put what's the important. suicide prevention hotline number right here on this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make it a joke, though. No, like, no for I'm real. Genuinely serious. It's just uh put it there just knowing that somebody else has thought or been through what you're thinking yeah is a huge relief i remember <laughs> a story for when we stopped this okay. i remember something in in school somebody else mentioned it to me i'm like whoa you fucking feel the same way bro yeah it takes a lot of weight off i'm sure yeah it does it's, it's crazy <laughs> it's yeah it's yeah it's uh it's crazy um shit I just got so relieved and saying okay <clears throat> so I used to have the TV on all the time mm -hmm. I could not go 30 seconds with my own thoughts okay fast forward to just reading 
It started out with just like 30 minutes a night, then it turned mm-hmm. into an hour, and all of a sudden I'm reading two hours then a you night. You want to read, dude. You yeah, you want to read. At the end of the day, when you're about to go, yes. To read. I'm looking forward to my lunch break, and I'm like, I'm going to yeah. sit in my car and I'm going to read and my you know book. What? It makes your like, work day go like better, just like, because yeah. you're like, I have this break where I can read. And then I got, it's just. Dude, I got some cool things for you. Yeah. First of all, my imagination, it's like. Sharpened. It's like up again. Like honed. It's like I'm back to where I was young and I could just imagine, uh, there's imagine a, things. There's a George Martin quote, the guy, the Game of Thrones guy. It says, the mind is like a, 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 a double, a well, it needs, the mind is like a sword. It needs to be like sharpened or whatever. Yeah. Like, and that's what books do. And this shit dulls it. I can yeah. tell you that right now. Wholeheartedly, I believe it. <laughs> yeah. With your influence, I keep my blue light filter on yeah. almost all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what I'm, what I mean to say is it started just, okay read and then all of a sudden it's like no I gotta stop reading you know yeah, what I mean yeah so I can go to sleep in but time. now it's when like when's the last time you missed on sleep because you were up reading a book like that's crazy you know I mean? <laughs> yeah that's unheard of yeah. like, well listen so <clears throat> lately <clears throat> I would I will stop reading or even now if I miss a night reading mm-hmm. I'll just go I'm gonna go to bed now yeah. and I'll turn off the TV and I'll lay in the darkness you like train yourself and yeah. I'm just like I'm okay with it because I feel good just laying. You there. can think of other things, and yeah, you can think of the dude, book you're reading, or you what? can think of the happier. No, thing. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen to me. I know. I will try to read. You know how, like, when you read, you play an image in your head. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever heard of people who read and they don't see an image? No, I see images. I have heard of people who read and they don't make an image in their head. I'm like, how do you get anything? Mine isn't like sometimes like super clear. Not it's not like watching a like a tv show but i know dude with me i I feel like i could be a playwright oh yeah and if if the mood is right i can get like way into it a lot of my favorite books that's that's why i used to love reading so much i think it's harder for me to do now but i guess just start reading and you'll be able to yeah yeah i think i know you mean goes for you brian the first book i I don't talk to you enough but audience he is there and i love him just as much this is a brendan appreciation brendan appreciation i don't have anything cheers (laughs) Ooh, there was a little bit in there, and it was good. Um, that was not. I read. I made that, by the way. <laughs> this is good. <coughs> I read Dune at the beginning of the year. That's mm-hmm. a good book. Uh, and I got, did you read it or hear it? No, I read it. I, I think you have to read. Yeah, I think I think so too. I I won't anymore. I won't listen to anything new that I haven't read before. I just listen to like Lord of the Rings because I've read that so often. By the way, <laughs> Peter Jackson. He made these movies like page from page. If you read the books, like they're exactly alike. Why are not more movies like I that? I know. You got he the material made, right you there. Know the reason he made like some of the best movies ever because he sat down. He literally was just like, "This is all going in. I don't care how I have to fit it in. It's going in." And he made three-hour movies, and they're fucking amazing. Listen, more people need to do that. Listen, <clears throat> no, I'll Why? be falling asleep to literal literal movie scenes in my head because that's how accurate the pages are. And yes, then, and then. Since we have those great movies, we can instantly like, yeah, that's exactly. You're like, oh, there's I'm a watching, comparison. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, that's that's what I'm. That's what irks me about uh, movies nowadays. It's like, I feel like I could be a playwright. Mm-hmm. I think I could turn. I think my imagination is there. I think my ability to write is there. I could turn any book into a movie. Yeah. If, it, if it's a good book. Honestly, with the past few books I've been reading, I'm like, I could write this into a movie. Why are movies so deviated? From yeah. the source material. They I already hate, have to acquire the rights. Mm-hmm. Why not just use what's there? Yeah, I hate when I see something that's like based on the book. I'm like, it's not based on it. You glanced, the, you glanced at the you book. You call it the same thing. You glanced at it and you were like, I, I have a vision of what that could mean. Star Wars? It's a... Uh, mm, oh, uh, it's a war. Oh, it's a, you know, it's... Yeah. And that wasn't... I was just using Star Wars as an example because obviously the movies were first. But I was, that was a bad example. Okay. Back to this. Okay. I will lay in bed now, pitch black, and I feel like it's peace. And it's like, I'll just run through things in my head. I'll just imagine things now. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I'll do... Isn't it like crisper too? Yeah. Yeah. I'll make a habit of this. I love this. Back to when you see an image when you read, I will lay down and try to remember image by image what I remember from the book. That's awesome. So starting out, I have this image of this book, The Plague Tales. I remember... Oh, a little a old frail woman laying in the bed, and uh, she's talking to her elderly, almost retarded son. 
about something and he's trying to console her and she's dying and he's holding a feather in front of her lips to see if you know the feather's moving because of her breath mm-hmm. it's like I, I can see it all and I just go from image to image until I until I am asleep and it's so relaxing yeah it's beautiful dude the the weight that has been lifted yeah off of my like soul by reading again I'm gonna have to start like tonight dude there's something wrong there, I, I know I, we're being poisoned we break these things dude, dude I mean we're tied to them we're slaves to them I know dude I'm and I'm Twitter, like, like I need the newest like, I'm movie. still shackled yeah but it's like the weakest chain it's yeah. like I'm using paper clips you can put it in your pocket for a little bit and forget yeah. about it yeah um I basically only use this anymore on my breaks or to mm-hmm. look up some information. That, and that's what's important is um, there's still things you need to know. Yeah. That's, and yeah, I'm not I'm not taking for granted like having a phone. I need it sometimes to like do a lot. But it, I, I'm also on it way too much. Just, just, I urge you all, everyone listening, but mainly you two guys because I care about you. I care about everybody. Except those who have wronged me, you will suffer in death. Uh, I, I think... At first, it's going to sound like an inconvenience, but it's like, for me, I go 10 o'clock, that's late enough, turn off the TV immediately, I need to read something. Yeah, I think it'll... Read something or try to just go to bed, but because I've gotten this habit of being able to just not be depressed. I used to be depressed when I turn off the TV or... Yeah. But now it's just like a calm. You know, because it's like, those things are giving off some kind of like false dopamine. They must be... Yeah. Something like that because has to be. you want them on all the time. It's like the sense of security or something. So you get kind of set when you're like, oh, it's bedtime. I, I want to go to bed, but I need like something still. Maybe I'll yeah. play some. T- dude, you know, you're speaking my language, I, bro. I know because I've lived it, dude. So yes, I also urge everybody read a book, go to bed earlier, get off your phone. I also urge you to watch the Clone Wars. Um, I don't care if you have to stay up all night and ruin your sleep. Just like we were talking about, get more sleep. I don't care if you have to just destroy it to watch him. You should watch the Clone Wars. But I think just do yourselves a favor. And it doesn't matter what book. Just 30 minutes. Start out with that and just see what happens. Would you recommend a book, though, if it did matter? Well, I recommend a book to you. I don't know personally what... I mean to them. Just like... Is there a book that you'd recommend besides the one you're reading? Uh, honestly, The Plague Tales, I recommend it. It I'm is read it. fucking good. I'm going to read it, but... Yeah. It starts out and you're almost like... Uh, I was a very genre-based person. Mm-hmm. When I saw a ragon... <clears throat> don't don't call it that. Maya has a bone to pick with you. <laughs> she hates that you call it that. Look, I, uh, I okay, too. Maya. In my defense... <laughs> And this will go into something else my dad mentioned. We got to end this soon because I know it's over an hour. It's an hour and a half, I think. I know. Uh, My dad mentioned something to me about someone he works with. They weren't taught how to pronounce letters and words. Mm -hmm. So they they only were taught to memorize what words looked like and how those words were pronounced. Mm -hmm. That blows my mind. I learned phonetically. Mm -hmm. So as a reader, learning phonetically, I could go read on my own and I learn new words and I learn how to pronounce them wrong. A ragon is one of those things that I, I learned to even. pronounce it wrong based on how I learned how those... I learned those... how to read from, from, con- from filling in the blanks. I would know how to read the dog walked to the... I wouldn't know bank. And then I'd be like... Then I'd read the next part after that. I'd be like, oh, it must have been bank. And it looked kind of like bank. So I'd be like, bank. Walk yeah. to the bank. That's how I learned to read. The like context. Would, yeah, context context reading. clues, filling in the blanks. Yeah. Um, so, I'm sorry... I understand it's going to irritate some people. Apparently, Maya, I didn't mean to irritate you. That's just, that's my own sin, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I remember fifth grade class, I was looking at the bookshelves, and I thought, a ragon. A ragon. <laughs> I gotta read that book. It's, it's got a, a dragon on it. It's a cool story, though, because dragon, a ragon, like, I can see what you It, it made sense. Yeah. I mean, for the reader of his, by yeah. himself, it yeah, made yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. It's kind of. It would be cool if that's what if that's what it was. It would be but like it's different... far from what it was. Yeah. Uh, how I was wrong, and it really made me mad when I looked in the the glossary and it said Sapphira. I'm like, it's God dang Sapphira. Sapphira. I don't really like Sapphira. It does not roll off the tongue. But I guess it's a Sapphira. Sapphira. It does. It's like smoother. It's because you're you not shut the hell. You're up. not putting that harsh like fire like fi- like fire. Elvira. You know, but. uh... I recommend Dune. That's my book. Are we are we about to end this? 
I think we can wrap it up. Okay. I have to get my watch because I left it here. Get the gold watch. I almost Thank wore it and took a picture of it for you. That I, I'm glad it's still there. It is there. Okay. I noticed it and I thought, I'm going to wear it and then send him a picture. But <laughs> no, it's not mine. I don't want to do that. I don't no, know if he's you, like me because I would freak out if somebody wore my stuff. <laughs> I'm going to leave it exactly where he left it. Thank you. I appreciate it. And thank you. And thank you. I appreciate you tuning in and watching this episode, sharing it, liking it, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell notification for notifications when we go live or upload. <laughs> Which we never and go leave live. Leave a comment down below. We might eventually. Leave a comment down below if you like anything. Okay, but one last thing. Okay. I challenge you. Yeah, read a book. Read something. Start just start. Put down the phone. Tell us what book you started. Put down the phone. Or you could read it on your phone. I don't. No 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 no. The light. There's something. Dude. Yeah, they have like the Kindles. Satan lives in this phone. He can see your thoughts, and he wants to impress your mind. I don't have anything against phone reading, but I. I do. I also do. Like I recommend you read a book. I will read things on my phone, but before I go to bed, phone. No. Uh. There's something about the light. A tiny screen, too, and it's... Strenuous activity. There's something like, about it. Unless the words are this big, I'm not going to read it on my phone. You know what there, I mean? There's just something about the light and then, like, yeah, the, and you the, have to hold the it electricity like this. and just the, the, the going back in the, the thing. You need to just read it off a page. Yeah. And that, I don't know what will ever replace a good old-fashioned book. Nothing. I wish we could go back to, like, but back, I, like the old... Hieroglyphics? I don't know. <laughs> Scrolls? Yeah. The older I, the book, the better. I can't express this, though. I feel like going back and reading has changed my life for the better. Uh, honestly, there are aspects of my life that are so much better because of reading now. Uh, I don't think it matters what you read. Just putting down the electronics. Mm-hmm. I agree. And now, dude, I will lay down and I'm so at peace. Get the best sleep dark. Ever, And dude, like... You're, I still wake up having to pee like crazy, but your mind is clear too. Though. I have to pee like crazy now. Yeah, my mind. I bet you wake up easier too. I'm thinking a little bit better at work. I'm like, oh my god, that's funny. I, oh, right. I can do this. It's like, oh, it's like life had meaning again. Yeah, like life is getting better. I know it's weird. So Anyways, take it from us. Read a book. Love you guys. And like this channel. Like and, this channel. And this video. In this video. Thank read. you so much. And read a book. And bye. <laughs> peace.